the ingredients for this uh, apple uh, that we have here is uh, the description box and as you can see this really looks good and at the same time i already tasted it it's delicious so you might as well try it Hello everyone, this is Arlene Mendez and today I'm going to show you what I have on the table. Um, we're going to bake an apple with all other ingredients like the pecan and of course the walnut. So before we put that in the oven, we're going first to do the uh, apple and uh, put it in the pan. We have here the induction stove. So let's just put first the butter I have. So we're just going to melt the butter and while the butter is melting, let's toss the apple here. I have 10 apples that I cut into pieces, one fourth inch each. And then we're going to put lemon. I have the lemon. So we're just doing it like this. And so let's set that aside. And uh, we have here the bowl for the other ingredients that I'm going to use for the apple. So we have the sugar. We're just putting it all together. And we have the cinnamon. We have the cup, one half cup of flour. So we're just doing that or mixing it all together. We have the salt. So let's just mix this and what we're going to do is uh, incorporate it with our apple. So let's continue with our, there you go, the butter that we have, it's melted. So now that these are all mixed, we are just putting it here with the apple. This is really good for dessert. It's perfect for us after the meal for Thanksgiving holiday. We can have this as dessert and with coffee or tea. So let's just make sure that these are covered with flour and the sugar just do it like this and then we're going to put it in the induction that we have there in the pan so this is how it looks like right now so we'll just keep mixing it we're just waiting for our butter to melt more while we're mixing this and uh, once it's well mixed then we can leave it for at least eight to ten minutes in the pan you don't have to cover it you just keep it like uh, uncovered and of course you can mix it once in a while so there you go so we'll just put some room here and uh, we have the butter and then we are tossing it here. There you go, so this is going to be really good. So that's 
what we have right now and uh, we'll leave it for at least eight minutes and we'll come back for it and of course i have here to mix it so let's just leave it for a bit okay let's check on our apple and oh wow this is becoming creamy so what we're going to do next is uh, mix all these ingredients in the bowl we have here so at least we can start the baking by the way you can bake your apple by at least 30 to 40 minutes so what we'll do here is put our flour all these dry ingredients have to be on the topping of our apple so i have here the ground pecan we're going to mix if you don't have the ground pecan you can also use other nuts and i'm combining pecan um walnuts on pecan so we'll just do it like that and uh, we have the brown sugar to add more color in our apple so let's just mix this and while mixing that i'm also mixing the apple we have is almost done a few more minutes then we can turn it off and uh, we have the salt to balance the sweetness we're putting some salt and of course we have the cinnamon to add aroma and uh, now that uh, we want to have a crumbly apple or topping we are adding also some butter we have actually one cup of butter in here that I um, pull, like uh, cut it into cubes so it's easier for us to crumble so we're just gonna do it like this and uh, we are turning off our because uh, now it's uh, creamy and then we're going to put it in our pan so we'll just uh, mix it a bit more and this is going to be really good and by the way uh, every year we have a holiday thanksgiving but of course because it's the end of the harvest season in our place here in canada so we have to thank for that and especially the farmers who always uh, deliver the food for everybody and uh, like uh, i'm doing the apple to just uh, you know show you that apple is one of the favorite fruits here in canada so there you go this is done this is going to be so good and then so we're done with this now we are putting the apple on top or in our baking pan so we can put this on top so it's like there are some crumbles now by mistake I turned up on so let's just remove my gloves and uh, we are putting the apple in the pan so this is how it looks like right now look how nice it is so we're just gonna slide it here oh, this is looking so good let's get our spoon just spread this so at least it's evenly spread when you're baking it for 30 minutes then it will be softer so now we can just put here and uh, we are going to put this in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes so you hear that sound that's my oven it's waiting for the apple it means that uh, you know we can put it already so we we'll just do it evenly a bit more and this is really good because of the ground pecan and of course the crumbled walnuts plus all the other ingredients that i put So, 
this is how it looks like right now we're putting it in the oven and i will show you the outcome after and uh, we're going to try this by the way don't forget to subscribe to my channel members and of course my friends in yt which is indicated in our box and also of course shout out to all my yt friends so let's just get a piece of it and let's try our baked apple with pecan and of course with uh, walnuts so this is very hot so we have just have to be careful with it and look at that it's really crumbly and or crumbly and it's so good so let's get some more we are going to have this with our tea and it looks really good and this is our apple for or baking for today so if you like my channel please don't forget to like subscribe comment and hit the notification bell so you will be updated with my next video as always this is Arlene Mendez God bless us all